Hello, and today we're going to take a candid look at these two Nike Triax Armour Style Homage watches sent to me by none other than Bentley Design, the X5000 Quartz and the X5000 Digital. I must stress that these watches are invariably not going to be to everyone's taste. They are affordable, fun fashion watches that have a retro futuristic look. And let's face it, in the grand scheme of things, all watches are predominantly fashion and or statement pieces. They just make us feel happy. These, I will confess, though very cool, are not ordinarily the style of watch I would go out of my way to purchase. A few odd years ago, maybe, um, I did um and ah about the Nike Triax line and the similarly designed Oakley watches back in the 90s and noughties. These style of watches are making a resurgence and the original watches these pay homage to are climbing up in price on the used market. The first thing I would like to point out, however, are the negatives. The first is the lug length and limited flexibility within the integrated bracelet. Though a similar issue on the original watches, these do limit the number of people who can wear them. The maximum wrist size for these is going to be no more than six and a half inches. The case backs are pushed down and not screw in, though you would be forgiven to think otherwise. The quartz version, I would say, has a few additional flaws than the digital version, such as the second hand not hitting every marker. The loom on the hands is there, though small and negligible, and the design on the side looks like it has buttons, which they are not. However, though the case shape is identical to the digital version, it is different. The bits that look like push buttons are actually part of the case. There are, there are no holes on the inside, and no buttons therefore glued in. Uh, that all said, the movement is a genuine Japanese made Myota quartz, and so far, in the short space of time that I have had these, it seems to be keeping good time. The case on both measure 39.8mm in diameter, and 58.8mm lug to lug, and 12.4mm thick. The Benley website states that the case of or watch case to be a zinc alloy. However, I think they may well be a mistake as these feel a lot heavier than zinc and more like stainless steel. Both watches weigh approximately 150 grams. The case back material and bracelet are stainless steel, glass is mineral crystal, and they are splash resistant to just 30 meters. The digital version has a number of functions, time, date, alarm, stopwatch, timer, second time zone, and a decent backlight. The finish on the case and bracelet looks excellent. The polish is very good and well executed. I haven't noticed any wavy lines or the like, and the milled style clasp feels strong and good quality. There are two additional versions of these, uh, one in a sandblast, uh, sandblasted finish, the other a sandblasted black PVD finish. Both watches come in a tough black plastic box with a bracelet pin removal tool and instruction manual. They are both priced at £116, that's $139, which I believe still includes import taxes and free shipping. And to top it all, then he has given me, well, you, a 10% discount code, watch crazy, on any orders on the web, their website. So that is watch crazy for a 10% discount. Information can be found in the description below. So what are your thoughts on these two cool, imperfect and unusual watches? Please leave your comments in the comments section below. Until next time.